What's going on down there? Oh my god. Looks like they're using our dump station. We're at Wami Bay this weekend, only a couple miles from there, so. Didn't want to wait in their line, came over to dump at our house. Paper. We figured the $500 fee to dump here was better than waiting in line in Mommy Bay. <laughs> <laughs> How long was the line over there? It was like seven or eight campers in, on the road, and there's, of course, two dumping. Oh, wow. That's so, it. Yeah, that is a lot. Looks like he completed dumping here at Wagner Resorts. How was your dumping experience? It's a pleasure. I appreciate that. I'm trying to beat the line over at Malami Bay. It's terrible over there. Yeah. <laughs> they have a, in the full hookup section, they have cones up and it says, you have to dump at the dump station. Yeah. People are going in there. <laughs> that makes no sense, yeah. but okay. Yeah, no sense at all. It all goes in the same place, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's driving through the yard. Mm-hmm. Acting like he owns the place. going to go do a thing right about now um, it is kind of nerve-wracking especially for me I know we change a lot but change isn't usually something that's very easy for me I'm usually kind of apprehensive even though I'm excited so I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can see what we're doing What is this? Uh, so I did a thing <laughs> again, and this is the thing I did. It's a pretty thing, though. Look at it. Look at how much shorter it is. If you were, I know it is so tiny. What my truck looks like in here, and it is a huge change for me going from a big, long wheelbase truck to a short two-door Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense though. It does. And you'll probably be asking, why did you trade? Did you, was there something wrong with the truck? That truck was absolutely amazing. It was a dream truck. It was my dream truck. And I kind of grappled with this decision for quite a few months, but ultimately uh, supply and demand came into factor. Yeah, um, everyone can agree that COVID-19 sucks. Yes. For, it doesn't matter where you stand politically, or religiously, whatever it is, mm -hmm. COVID-19 flat out sucks. But one thing it's good for is raising the prices of trade values. Yes. So the trade value of that truck went sky high. And I was thinking to myself, if I wait and the supply comes back up, the value of my truck is gonna go back down. When, when we bought your truck we foolishly put nothing down yeah we don't usually have to right we're not the smartest people in the world um, <laughs> at least we're and, pretty <laughs> and uh basically just made minimum payments while you had it and the I trade did make extra payments 
What's that? I made extra payments. Okay. Uh, but anyways, the trade value came up by like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten to twelve thousand dollars. It came up. So I was like, if I'm gonna do something now, is the time that I need to decide. And after Mike got his Jeep, I really came around. I never really thought about having a Jeep, but after Mike's, this it kind of made me want one. <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I wanted one of my one. own. So this is actually a brand new Jeep. It's 2020. A 2020. Yeah. And I did look at used. My intentions were to buy a used one. However, everything on the lot was so close in price. Yeah, because used prices came up. Yes. So uh, I, the used ones we looked at were like three thousand dollars cheaper than a brand new one. Yeah. Now some of those may have had more options, and this one's pretty standard. I don't care about that. So. I was like, heck, I'll go with the new one, so. Yeah, I mean, we didn't put anything down on this because like I said, we're not the smartest people in the world, <laughs> but we were actually able to carry some positive over. Yeah, and I can, usually in the beginning, at least for the first year, I usually make extra payments every month. So it does help it balance out. There was nothing wrong with the truck other than the monthly payment was pretty high. And it wasn't like crippling us, No. but trading from the truck to this Jeep reduced your debt by twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So I figured twenty grand is pretty it, significant. Just like that, it kind of was like, okay, I can do this. And the dogs are just waiting to jump in. Yeah. They haven't been in there, so <laughs> Well we can uh let's see if they get in the back. Okay. We already took the seat out. That's the, the back seat. It came out so super easy and that's why i wanted the two door because i wanted to just take the back seat out it's a dog mobile <laughs> they're ready to go you gonna get in there oh he's trying you can help <laughs> she got in there what do you think and this is what i like I like one big flat space for the dogs where they can get a little more space to move around than in the truck. And actually a very similar amount of space that Mike has in his Jeep. What the dogs loved about my Jeep is that all the windows were right at their height. Yeah. Whereas in the truck, they'd have to get up on the on the doors to see out the yeah. windows. <laughs> she's like, where are we going? Yep, she's ready to go. The guy too, he's like ready to take a nap. <laughs> Actually, I think she wants to get in the front seat. Yeah, she's I think like, that's what I'm she's trying to do. Now. <laughs> For just being the uh, the Wrangler Sport, it's actually really, really nice. I agree. I mean, it has things like the mirrors and the windows are power, and the seats are manual. So it's like you get this even mixture of things, and it honestly wouldn't bother me if the windows were manual either. But overall, uh, I really like it. Me too. I'm kind of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I get something, you get something. Every time you get something, I get something. So let's make that stop. Yes, we're going to stop. <laughs> but I'm pretty pleased with it. I I am really hoping I keep this longer than I've kept my other vehicles. I usually <laughs> have a good streak of keeping things pretty long up until this past year or two. So we'll see how uh, how long I keep this bad boy. I'm hoping to do some Jeep things with it. Maybe go on some trails and have some fun. Of course, you get it. You know, after you know it's like fall now. True. So you're really running out of time to take your uh, doors off and take the, the, the panels off the top. And yeah. It's unfortunate that it's a hard top, but... It's all they had. He's got these two panels over the you know the driver and one over the passenger that just pop right out. So that's nice and convenient. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm excited to really do things with it. I'm really curious to see how it will compare to my trucks in the snow, too. I think it'll do pretty good. I don't know about the tires, but we'll see.